Hey guys, welcome to Razy Kid Reviews, and today I'm gonna do a tutorial on the iMovie app for iPad or iPhone. They're the same. I'm gonna record this in the dark so you could see the screen better. First, you need an iMovie, which retails for four ninety nine on the App Store. Once you download it. What you want to do next is click this plus sign on the bottom. You get two options. Can't really see it. Let me see. It says new project or new trailer. In my case, I'm going to show you guys how to do a new project. You click new project. And it opens this interface after that you want to click the top left second icon where it says music and video I and then you choose a clip you want once you choose the clip you get an arrow and a play sign click the arrow and it brings the clip right here here you could do many things with the clip if you double tap it you get an option for title location and if you want sound or not or to delete it if you click title you could put a title in the opening, middle, or ending. You could resize it by dragging this bar, the yellow, or make it longer. If you click the right top hand corner, settings, you could add theme music, loop background music, fade in from black, and fade out from black. You could also change the themes for example like CNN report let's say also if you need help with any options you click this question mark and it tells you every single thing you need this audio waveform right here in the middle is for your audio to appear as you could see right here the blue line appears you could voice record over by going clicking right here see ready to record Or you could make your own shots by clicking this camera icon and it's gonna record for me the camera and the iPad if you click the top left corner first icon the paper with a star it's gonna save the project and bring you to the main menu when I click the CNN report you see the icon change to a CNN report here in this menu you could click this transfer button you could upload it to camera youtube facebook vimeo and itunes then if you want to delete it you click delete project then you just delete it thanks for watching guys Razy kid reviews were with you if you found this helpful like and subscribe also, if you need any apps reviewed, leave me comments or inbox me and I will make sure I'll review that app. Thank you for watching. See you soon.